Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to determine the best location for your secondary router. A while back, we did a video on how to set up two routers on one network. Well, we got a lot of questions about how to establish the best location for that secondary router. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is find your Wi-Fi dead zones. These are areas in your home that should be covered by Wi-Fi, but are not. Typically in a two-story house, if your primary router is upstairs, then placing your secondary router on the first floor would be optimal. If you have a large one-story house, then you wanna place the secondary router as far away as possible from the primary router. And before you start placing the secondary router into different rooms, it's important to understand, when you plug in the secondary router into that ethernet cable in that room, that ethernet cable needs to plug into the primary router on the LAN port. So what's the best way to determine a Wi-Fi dead zone? Well, there's two ways to do this. The first way is the old school way. Go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and begin to walk around your house far away from your primary router. And as you walk around, look at the signal strength for your primary router's SSID. There'll be fewer bars the further away you are from the primary router. So if there's a room in the front of your house that has a low Wi-Fi signal, this would be a great location for a secondary router. And there's also one more way to determine Wi-Fi dead zones. You can simply download a Wi-Fi analyzer. Once you download this app, you can walk around your house and analyze the Wi-Fi signal. Now these analyzers can be kind of tricky because you're gonna see a lot of different Wi-Fi signals. You'll see your signals, but also your neighbor's signals. But these analyzers do work well. However, the old school way works just as well. So once again, remember, if you have a two-story house and your primary router is upstairs, then you should always have a secondary router on the first floor. And use one of the two methods we discussed to find the dead zones. And if you have a large one-story house, then placing the secondary router as far away from the primary router should work well. And it's important to remember, the secondary router must plug into the primary router via the LAN connection. Well guys, we're all done here. We hope this video helps you determine the best location for your secondary router. And as usual, I wanna thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.